Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to 2A News Now, and I really appreciate you taking your time tuning into my video. And here at 2A News Now, you get your 2A News straightforward and to the point with no bullshit added in. There's an unbelievable new plot twist to the Rust movie shooting. Investigators believe that the gun Alec Baldwin was handling when it fired the bullet that killed Rust's cinematographer, Helena Hutchins may have intentionally been modified in a motion requesting forensic testing of the 45 caliber Colt revolver and ammunition. New Mexico special prosecutors say the modification appears to be related to the notches of the internal portion of the hammer for full cock, half cock, and quarter cock positions. Specifically, it appears that these notches may have been partially removed or ground down, so they are less prominent, according to the motion filed Wednesday. Prosecutors are requesting forensic testing to confirm the modification, determine its source, and learn what effect it had on the gun's performance. If it has been found to be modified, it could bolster Baldwin's contention that he never pulled the trigger when it discharged. Despite FBI testing and expert skepticism claiming otherwise, prosecutors dropped criminal charges against Baldwin last month. The Los Angeles Times reported that possible modifications to the gun's hammer and sear may have affected the firing mechanism. Rust armor Hannah Gutierrez-Reed still faces a charge of involuntary manslaughter. Her lawyer, who filed a motion on Thursday to drop the criminal case against her, is not opposing the prosecutor's motion to transfer the gun and ammunition and a jacket that Gutierrez-Reed wore to a ballistics expert for testing. The plan is to examine the jacket for gunpowder residue Numerous legal battles over the shooting continue. In one lawsuit, Gutierrez-Reed accuses the movie's ammunition supplier of providing live ammunition to the set. This firearm has been examined numerous times by numerous people, including the FBI. And the FBI determined that that firearm could not be fired unless the trigger was pulled. But are they trying to tell us when the FBI examined that firearm, at the time they didn't catch that these notches had been ground down? I sure as hell don't believe that. It's been over a year and a half since this shooting has happened. And now they're just discovering this? I don't believe it, and I don't think you guys believe it either. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. And as always, I appreciate everybody's support. You guys are always crushing it by liking, sharing, and subscribing, and hitting those post notifications. I really do appreciate it, and it helps the channel grow. And I invite everybody back to see my next video.